florals for spring groundbreaking however h&m is famous for their dresses especially these dainty floral dresses and this year there are just so many great options they're all made of different material which i thought would be helpful to try on and show you the differences let's first go into the h&m store where i tried on quite a few floral pieces this first one i love the pattern of it's actually a linen midi to maxi length dress i am 5'4 for reference because this dress didn't have my size in store i actually purchased this online however i will say that even with the size extra small which i believe is the smallest size in this dress the chest area is just a tiny bit too loose on me and the rest of this dress fits perfectly look at this balloon sleeve you know i love a good balloon sleeve and this one is actually in the same floral pattern this is much more lightweight i think it's made of cotton i have it in size extra small and as you can see definitely fits oversized you can just wear it like this it's a perfect lounging at home or running errands hot hot summer day dress but you can also cinch in with a belt and dress it up too it is a tiny bit see-through i am wearing nude underwear i don't think you can see but i am wearing like a green bralette so you can definitely see that underneath which makes it perfect as a beach cover-up too i didn't think i would love this shirt dress as much as i do because the material is so soft the collar is pretty wide so it doesn't feel too kind of suffocating around the neck area it does come with a matching fabric belt without the belt it definitely looks a lot more shapeless but with the belt i can cinching my waist i could even raise my waistline a little Little bit and then pull the top material out a bit so that it is even more flattering i don't think this one is as flattering as the previous one it's pretty much in the same pattern except it's just more on the purpley side which i love the color of however this is pretty much a sack so definitely a lot more on the casual side and in terms of sizing i actually got the previous dress in the size small but this one is extra small but you can see that even the shoulder area is a bit bigger it's kind of a light cotton material so the previous one is definitely going to be a lot more summer friendly but this one is a great transitional option this one definitely gives me reformation vibe i love this off shoulder design on model i think she was wearing it more on the shoulder which you could do but i would say the elastic here is really tight i have this in size extra small it fits actually perfectly on me i love how the waist area fits there is a side zipper and if you look closer it almost creates like a corset shape where the curve goes up and then down so that your waist area is even more cinched in which i love and the slit height is also pretty perfect it's not as high as the reformation dresses so just more wearable and every day love the balloon sleeve detail of course and it's actually a wrap style dress i have it in size small i think i need an extra small maybe even extra extra small because you can see the chest area is just too loose on me but you can tie it very well so you can kind of cinch in on the waist and the panel covers the front basically double so you don't have to worry about anything peeking through i thought we would change it up for a pant look now i happen to find the top and the pants in the exact same floral pattern which is the same as the first two dresses that i tried on but the top actually has a pinkish tone to it and then the jeans has the purple floral pattern and i love again this v neckline is so so flattering i also have been on the hunt for like a what's it called peter pan type of style collar and this one is really flattering it's not too over the top but it is statement enough that you can wear it on its own you can also wear like a cute cardigan over so that your collar can 
flop over the cardigan and it'll be really cute as well and it has this tiny little gathering detail on the sleeve to create this balloon sleeve effect and I'm wearing these jeans in size 2 my normal size is a 0 but I just figured with eating and if I want to tuck a shirt in I'd rather go for a size bigger the length is just perfect like pretty much half an inch above the floor which is the ideal length for like a white legged jean like this I just realized this top is actually maternity wear but Honestly, you really cannot tell and once you tuck it in, it just looks like a normal top So I wanted to point that out, but the material as it says is a hundred percent viscose It is literally the softest material like you can kind of see through the screen. I love this This is another top option if you don't want to go with that matchy matchy floral look This is a really comfortable knit inspired by Kate and the sleeves are just a little bit too long and I feel like the neckline might be a tiny bit too low so the fit isn't quite perfect last but definitely not least this is the perfect daily sleeper dress dupe the material is this kind of crinkly cottony material it is so breathable lightweight however not see-through at all and i love the smock detail the square neckline you can even wear it off shoulder if you want like how the daily sleeper dresses are the length again you know it it's the perfect above the ankle length carrying on the floral pieces i have picked up a few more from the website this first one is another linen blend piece even though i love a puff sleeve detail because the rest of the dress is quite slimming i don't think the puff really works on this dress it's almost a bit too puffy just doesn't balance the dress out very well and also the a-line shape i think works best when the length is a bit shorter so i'm not sure the silhouette is the best for me with the same pattern we have a purple version in the very famous H&M smocked dress silhouette. I actually have a YouTube shorts styling last year's smocked dress. I will say that I kind of prefer last year's version just because it gives a cleaner look as opposed to this almost uh, yellowy beige background with the purple pattern on top. The cottony material is just so so comfortable to wear. I can definitely attest that after wearing this dress pretty much all summer long last year. I hope this video shows you that H&M is basically rotating a few key elements of their dresses to come up with new combinations so this one had this kind of gathered front with puff sleeve we've got a very very similar dress with also gathered front and puff sleeve however this material is so <laughs> cooling it's 100 percent viscose I realized that at H&M, if you see 100% viscose, it tends to be this really soft and comfortable material. And this one, I actually really love the pattern of, even though it looks a bit crazy because of the size of the floral being kind of small. I talked about that in my floral dresses video from last year basically telling you what's the best way to choose a floral dress that is for you and I think all of the tips there still apply to this year. The last floral piece I'm showing today is this dress that I am wearing right now. It is also 100% viscose. As you can see from the cutaway without tucking in a bit of the fabric, it actually feels a little bit too long on my frame. So one trick here, because there is a tight detail, you can actually really easily easily kind of tuck some excess material underneath the tie and it doesn't fall off easily either so that you can make the length work perfectly for you and the sleeve being this mid length is also really elegant and we got basically 50 shades of beige and tan 
The biggest fail is probably this linen tie top that I thought I would absolutely love because I really like the concept of a linen top with tie detail. This is just too small. It is size extra small and it does have a smocked back. However, I couldn't get this over my head so I could not even try it on. On top of that, it's very, very see-through and it is not double lined at all, so you would definitely have to wear some sort of nipple cover or strapless bra underneath, and it's just not what I'm looking for. On the other hand, I think I'm keeping both of these tank tops. If you have been on Instagram or Pinterest, you know these types of tank tops are all over the fashion influencer scene. They're so easy and simple to style, yet they give you a very put together and clean look. The first one cuts out a bit more in the front, and I would say between the two, the first one is softer. Both are really, really affordable, and I believe they are 25% recycled cotton with a bit of stretch as well. So it molds to your body very well. I got both of them in extra small. This one is a tiny bit on the cooler tone side, whereas this one definitely has almost like a yellowy undertone to it. This one is a little bit more cropped than the cool tone tank top, and this one doesn't cut out as much. So. I feel like this would be a bit more universally flattering. And it is also a thicker material made of 20% recycled cotton. Pairing with the cool tone tank, I have this pretty much the same, very similar shade pants with slit on the side. I'm not keeping these pants because they are a little bit too thin and you have to wear the seamless underwear underneath and it's just not what I'm looking for. I want a pair of pants that I can comfortably wear at home. I also think the length is not long enough for me even though I'm only 5'4". However, it is really, really comfortable. For this warmer tone tank, I just paired it with the floral pants that I picked up from the store. I still absolutely love it. Last I checked, they still have, I think, all of the sizes. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from H&M this season. I'm obsessed with this floral pattern and it's also really comfortable and the silhouette of the pants just fits really, really well on my petite frame. So highly recommend if you're looking to add something different to your bottoms category. I also think it's neutral enough that you can wear this year over year and it won't feel dated. We got another neutral color piece, this colored shirt dress with this viscose slash acrylic blend material. It really just gives me a tropical vacation vibe. The length is actually not the most optimal on my frame. It goes right above my knee. I tend to like dresses that are either shorter or longer. So the way I made it work is to pair it with a rope belt. With the belt tying around the waist area, I can easily pull the fabric up a bit to shorten the length of the dress. I really love the color of it. The material is very comfortable. It almost looks like it's a knit material. It really adds texture and make your outfit just that bit more interesting. With the rope texture, you just have a really soothing combination of texture and this is the perfect everyday dress. This, I will be honest, is probably, yeah, it is the most comfortable material out of every single piece that I'm showing today. However, with this types of bodycon dresses, I should just know that I, I'm not gonna buy these in the future because they're just gonna be too body hugging. And again, you have to wear seamless underwear, you have to wear seamless bra. It's just a lot of effort to make this work even though my goal is to wear dresses like this on an everyday basis. I also layered this cute little cardigan top with a tie in the front. This has been trendy for I feel like the past couple of years. It's 95% polyester and 5% elastane. It's like this scratchy polyester material. It's not 
uncomfortable but I'm just not leaning towards this material and even though I love this orange color I don't think I'm going to keep it for all of the at-home try-on bits I paired everything with this pair of braided heeled sandals from H&M. I bought it last year but I think this year they have the exact same version still being sold. Absolutely love this. Super comfortable. Lastly, I also got this raffia headband. Obviously it doesn't go with my hairstyle today but I thought that in my last quarterly favorites video I talked about how much I love the pearl headbands. I'm just looking into other headband options that I can rock in the summertime and I have a huge head but this one does not make my head hurt. It's actually really comfortable material and I just feel like if you're going on a vacation or just wearing cute summer dresses, floral dresses, this is a really great option to accessorize. If I have to pick my favorite piece from today's haul, it will have to be this daily sleeper dupe. I just think the fact that H&M did a dress like this in this really interesting crinkly cotton material. It fits so perfectly. It's lightweight but it's not see-through. Literally takes all of the boxes and in fact I think the daily sleeper dresses their sleeves are a little bit too poofy for me and this puff sleeve is just perfection. So I hope that they come back in stock online. If they don't, check out your local H&M store and let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite piece from today's haul and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!